I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you some simple questions on estimating probabilities for normal distribution. The idea of these videos is to understand the concept and then get into details. Most of my examples in this list of videos will not really involve Z tables or calculators, right? So this is the one for IB students who will be taking test without calculators. Now, um, I'm thankful to my subscribers of taking interest. One of the subscribers wants to know which pen do I use? So I just buy the pens which are on sale most of the time. And uh, there are a few shops which always give you some promotions. So uh, some good pens which I've got are this one. This one is Zebra. This is my favorite R301. That is one of them. And then I use Uniball. Uniball is very good. And this is the one, right? So you can make a note of these. So at present, I'm using this new set. I got, got it on sale. And uh, I have some colored pencils, which are also like this. Okay, they help you. And then these are the sketch pens, uh, the sketch when I make with these. So I have, uh, I like colors. So normally, you know, and I make uh, free end sketches. So it makes sense, you know, to buy. Uh, but I can't afford really to buy very expensive pens. There are some very good pens in the market. Uh, but I just buy the pens which are on sale. So that is kind of important. So look for Black Friday sale we missed. Okay. But then Christmas will give us another chance to buy some pens. So those are the times when you can just go and look for uh, the basic ideas. Free flow gel. Right. That is, that is the bottom line. Okay. Let's, let's get back to the question. It says, given random variable which follows a normal distribution with uh, these two parameters. And what are these parameters? Well, normally we write these parameters as mu and sigma. Where mu is the mean, sigma is the standard deviation. Correct? So what we are given here is a random variable x which follows a normal distribution where mean mu is equals to 10 and standard deviation sigma is equals to 2 right i'm sorry i didn't write square here okay so this 0 0.2 two mistakes okay 0 0.2 0 0.2 square right so which is how much what is 0 0.2 square 0 0.2 square will be is it 0 0.4 or 0 0.04 you should check this also it's kind of tricky at times we just write 0 0.04 and it confuses students. So 0 0.2 square helps you to get the exact value uh, without any calculations. Correct. Now the question here is to estimate probabilities for the random variable x to be greater than 9.8. Second one is probability for random variable x less than equal to 9.6. And then we have probability for this random variable to be between two random values, 9.6 and 10.2. So that is the question for you. Now, and we have to do this without calculator or without uh, your standardized normal distribution tables. That is, that is the key here, how to do it. So let me first sketch this diagram because uh, we, it's important to understand before we even begin. So what I'll do is I'll kind of make a bigger sketch since I have good sketch pens. These are running out now. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, make a normal graph and then we'll discuss. Okay, I hope that works. Okay, it's gone beyond the screen anyway. Uh, we'll shift it when required. Okay, so we have this normal distribution. So when we are given mean, it is always the center value, axis of symmetry, right? Okay, this is the mean for us, mu. And this curvature changes at the standard deviations away. So this is uh, mu plus sigma, this is mu minus sigma. That is standard, right? So we'll just fill in these values. Mu is mean is 10 for us okay and uh, this value is 10.2 and 0.2 less means 9.8 now let's see the question the question for us is 
probability for the random variable so the random variable is along this horizontal axis the curve is asymptotic too right greater than 9.8 so greater than 9.8 means means if you do this then we are looking for an area which is on the right side so this is what we're looking for so this is the first thing we want to find greater than 9.8 this is what we are interested in. How much is this value? So that is the first question. Greater than 9.8, that means on this side. How do you find this? Anyway, let's look into the second one also, which is 9.6. How do we get 9.6? Well, 9.6 will be... Uh, 0.2 is the standard deviation, so if I take away 0.2 from here, then I get 9.6. Is that okay? So, so taking away 0.2 is, let me write here, 9.6, and this is actually uh, mu, okay, let me write, mu minus 2 sigma, okay. So the second one is less than equal to 9.6, less than equal to 9.6, this is for the second one. Is it okay? So I hope the question is clear for you. The first two parts, we'll get to this later, 10.2 and 9.6, you can see from here. So that's the question for you. You can pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. Now, we'll do a calculation of estimating it. So we know if we see from left to right, let's always see from left to right to make things simple, then the total area is 1. You understand that part. So total area under the curve is 1. This is what we know. So total area is 1. That is the probability. Sum of all the possible probabilities for this random variable has to be 1. That's the reason. And this is a probability distribution curve, to be precise. Mid value means 50%. Is it okay? So from here to here, I mean the 50% is left side only. Right side 50 makes 100%. So that means 0.5, correct? When you translate to decimals. Now, if you are working with the unit between 1 sigma, what we have learned is it is around 68%. So we'll not go to decimal places. We say whenever we are working within 1 sigma, then we are saying that this is 68 percent so this is one sigma correct so this is plus minus one sigma, 68 right so if this is 68 then then the half of it is 34 is it okay so this half is 34 percent right we'll write in person first and then get to that is one thing which we learned Second thing what we learned about is that if it is 2 sigma away, let me write this as 2 sigma, which is 10.4. In that case, it is 95%, correct? So if you are doing somewhere here, which is 2 sigma away, in that case, that is this much, I mean, this big thing. 2 sigma away, so let me, let me draw with this pen. So what we are doing is this area, 2 sigma away, then it is how much? Then it is 95%. Is it okay? So 2 sigma away is 95%. So what is half of 95? It is actually 95.4, but anyway, We'll do uh, 95 divided by 2. We'll do roundabout, right? Which is 47.5. Okay. So, 47.5. So, half of it, we'll say this half is 47.5. Okay. So, it's just saying that the half of it, let me write outside, 47.5. So, we have approximated, right? Okay. So, I mean, this half is 47.5. Now, so the idea is, how much is all that, I mean, from here to the end, 
crunkier to the end is how much. So that's the whole idea. So what we can do is we can think from the symmetry point of view. We can say from here to that end. So this is this is same. We could, could we write like this probability for x to be less than because we try to get from here. So when we are saying greater than 9.8 from symmetry, can we say less than 10.2? I think we can, right? So less than 10.2. So this is equals to the probability from this side. Is that okay? That makes sense. Yes, we can say that. Is that okay? So that is it. So what we are saying now is from here to that much. Perfect. Now it becomes simpler, right? So that means if I'm saying from here to that much, then this should be equals to 50 plus half of this. Now half of this is 34. We found it. This is also 34. Okay. So it becomes simpler. See, as soon as you kind of reflect it, then it becomes easier. Otherwise, it was very difficult. So it is equals to, uh, let's convert them to decimals, which is 0 0.50 plus 0 0.34 and when you add them up you get 0 0.84 so 84 percent is when we are saying greater than 9.8 did you understand the strategy so we started with the very basic question which is random variables greater than 9.8 that means one standard deviation towards the left that much we expect a value which is definitely more than 50 percent right and we say this value should be same as the value for probability less than mu plus 1 standard, 10.2, right, to the left side. So from left side, that much, correct. So that really means 50% plus half of the center value, which is 34% estimated, correct. So it gives you an answer of 84%, which is 0.84. You get an idea. Okay. The second one here is, this value less than 9.6. So when we are saying less than this, then now look into this strategy. So this area here, this area is what we are interested in, just this area. So that means one minus, one minus that. I mean, one is the whole thing, okay? So what we already found here is so what did we get here is basically when we are saying less than 10.2, that means from here, from here, all this is 84%. Now, two sigma we are talking about. Is it okay? So two sigma is this much away. Two sigma gives you 95% of the data which is shown here. You want how much is that area? correct so to find this area you can do a couple of things if I take away from the whole that much area I'm left with twice this because this is on that side also do you see that from symmetry so so what I'm trying to say here is that I could write this as so these are two of these kinds but I need only one so I could write this as uh, I could write this as half of because there are two such areas, right? So out of the whole, let me take away, that is one minus the probability for X being within two standard deviations. Do you understand? Two standard deviations, which is 95%. So I'm writing two standard deviations, which in our case will be from 9.6 to 10.4. Is it okay? two standard deviations, which is, you know, 95%. So it is equals to 1 minus 0 0.95, and that gives me 0 0.05, which is 5%. Do you see that? So this area is here, 5%. Do you see how quickly we could actually find it? Now let's look into the third part, which is 9.6 to 10.2. So 9.6 is right there, 9.6 to 
kind of here, right? Now I can kind of mess it because we have already worked with this kind. We are almost at the end. So in between these two values, that is what we are interested in finding. So it is definitely more than 68, correct? But it is less than 95 because we are missing that portion. Is it okay? Now we are missing how much of the portion? That is one way of looking into it. So if this is 90, 68 and the whole thing is 95, their difference is twice this, correct? So what we will do here is we'll do 95 take away 68. So 95 take away 68 is how much? 95 take away 68 is 27. So 27 is sum of these two, right? If I do half of 27, if I do half of this, that means 27 divided by 2, I get in decimal a value 13.5. So this area is 13.5. Do you see that? So that is how you could calculate. Since you are interested only in the area which is between these two, we could write this as 95% is the whole area between two sigmas, right? So I'm not writing those statements. I've explained you. So 95%, which is 0 0.95, take away 13.5. So that becomes our solution, right? So we'll write this as 0.95 take away 13.5 which is in decimals, sorry, point, sorry, uh, zero point, that is percent values, okay, in decimals 0 0.135, okay. So 0 0.95 take away 0 0.135 is equals to, in decimals, 0 0.815, so 81.5%, correct? So we get this answer as 81.5. So I hope you understand in this that we could actually, from the standard values, how find other probabilities, right? This region property is 13.5 percent, okay, not in decimals. This is in percent as we wrote in others. So you can kind of juggle with these values and find out probabilities for different regions in in a normal distribution curve, and that is this exercise. So I hope that helps you to understand this concept, how to uh, figure out other probabilities and work around the given statistical data about normal distribution curve. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.